You know ChatGPT inside and out. You've been using AI tools for months, maybe even built some impressive automations, yet you're still getting passed over for AI jobs because you can't prove your skills on paper. Well, Sam Altman just dropped a bombshell announcement that's about to change everything. He's building something that makes LinkedIn look like yesterday's news. And here's the wild part. It's specifically designed to get you hired in AI, even if you don't have a computer science degree. Welcome back to bitbias.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts. Click the newsletter link in the description for weekly analysis delivered straight to your inbox. So in this video, I'm breaking down Sam Altman's brand new AI jobs platform that's launching in 2026. Think LinkedIn, but exclusively for AI talent and powered by ChatGPT itself. We'll look at exactly how it works, what AI skills are actually in demand right now, and most importantly, how you can position yourself to be one of the first 10 million Americans to get certified through this program. And wait until you hear which major companies are already on board, including one retail giant that's planning to hire thousands through this platform. Let's dive into who's behind this and why it matters. Who is Sam Altman and why should you care? Now, if you're wondering why we should pay attention to yet another tech CEO launching a platform, here's where it gets interesting. Sam Altman isn't just any tech executive. This is the guy who literally shaped how startups work today. Back in 2011, he joined Y Combinator, you know, the incubator behind Airbnb, Dropbox, and Reddit. By 2014, he was running the whole thing. But here's the plot twist that changed everything. In 2015, while everyone else was still figuring out what AI even meant, Altman co-founded OpenAI with some guy named Elon Musk. You might have heard of him. Fast forward to 2019, Altman becomes CEO, and then boom, he launches ChatGPT, which now has 700 million weekly users. That's nearly double the entire U.S. population using it every single week. The man's net worth hit $1.9 billion, Time Magazine called him one of the 100 most influential people, and now he's sitting in White House meetings advising on AI policy. So when this guy says he's building something new for AI jobs, trust me, the entire tech industry stops scrolling and pays attention. The platform that's about to disrupt everything all right, so picture this scene. Last year at a high-profile White House event, surrounded by tech leaders and government officials, Altman drops this announcement. OpenAI is building what he calls the OpenAI Jobs Platform. And before you think, oh great, another job board, wait until you see how this actually works. This isn't just posting your resume and hoping for the best. The platform uses OpenAI's language models, the same tech behind ChatGPT, to actually understand what skills you have and match them with what companies desperately need. It's like having an AI recruiter who actually gets what you can do, not just what degrees you have. Here's where it gets really clever. Remember how you use ChatGPT for everything? Well, they're building the certification program right into ChatGPT's study mode, so you're learning AI skills, getting certified, and then immediately getting matched with jobs, all in the same ecosystem. It's brilliant, really. You don't have to jump between different platforms, different logins, different systems. Everything flows together. And they're not just targeting senior engineers here. They've designed tracks for everyone, from someone who just learned basic prompt engineering last week to seasoned professionals building enterprise AI systems. There's even a dedicated track for small businesses and local governments who usually can't compete for AI talent. Imagine your local city government finally being able to hire someone who can implement AI solutions because they have access to this specialized talent pool. How this stacks up against LinkedIn. Now I know what you're thinking, but we already have LinkedIn. Why do we need this? And that's exactly what I thought too, until I dug deeper. See, LinkedIn is owned by Microsoft, and Microsoft is OpenAI's biggest investor. So this move, it's OpenAI essentially saying, thanks for the funding, but we're coming for your territory now. LinkedIn covers everything, from marketing jobs to plumbing services. It's broad, it's general, and let's be honest, how many times have you gotten job recommendations that have nothing to do with your actual skills? The OpenAI platform is laser-focused on AI roles only. No more wading through thousands of irrelevant postings. But here's the kicker. While LinkedIn has those little skill badges you can add to your profile, 
OpenAI's certifications are earned through actual AI interaction. You're proving your skills by doing, not just by passing a multiple choice quiz. The platform knows if you can actually write effective prompts, build automations, or implement AI solutions because you've demonstrated it within ChatGPT itself. And unlike LinkedIn's keyword matching that we've all learned to game, this platform uses actual AI understanding to match skills to roles. It's not looking for buzzwords, it's looking for genuine capability. One analysis I read put it perfectly. This move pits OpenAI directly against LinkedIn. And honestly, LinkedIn should be worried. The real problems this solves. Let me paint you a picture of what's actually happening out there. You've got millions of people who've taught themselves AI skills. Maybe you're one of them. You know ChatGPT like the back of your hand. You've built automations that save hours of work. But when you apply for AI jobs, you get rejected because you don't have formal credentials. Meanwhile, companies are screaming that they can't find AI talent. It's this massive disconnect, and here's why. There's no standardized way to prove AI skills, until now. The platform addresses something even bigger, though, and this might surprise you. Anthropic's CEO recently warned that 50% of entry-level office jobs could fundamentally change by 2030 because of AI. That's not some distant future. That's five years from now. So OpenAI isn't just building a jobs platform. They're building a reskilling pipeline for an entire generation of workers who need to adapt or get left behind. And then there's the small business problem. Your local marketing agency or that startup downtown, they need AI talent but can't compete with big tech salaries or even find the right people. This platform gives them a dedicated track to access AI-skilled workers who might actually want to work for smaller, more agile companies. What really gets me excited, though, is how this could democratize access to high-paying AI jobs. You don't need to live in Silicon Valley. You don't need an MIT degree. You just need to prove you can do the work. The AI does the matching, not some recruiter who might overlook your application because you went to a state school. The AI skills that will actually get you hired. So let's talk about what skills are actually going to matter on this platform, because this is where you need to start focusing right now. First up, prompt engineering. I know it sounds simple, but companies are literally hiring prompt engineers for six-figure salaries because getting consistent, high-quality outputs from AI is harder than it looks. But it goes way beyond that. Machine learning engineers and data scientists are obviously in demand, but here's what's really interesting. There's massive demand for what I call AI translators. These are product managers and project leads who can bridge the gap between AI capabilities and business needs. You don't need to code neural networks. You need to understand how to implement AI solutions in real business contexts. Then you've got the builders, developers who can integrate AI tools into existing products. Companies don't want to rebuild everything from scratch. They want people who can add AI features to what they already have. Think about it. Every app, every website, every business tool is trying to add AI features right now. Someone has to build those integrations. Here's one that might surprise you. AI trainers and data annotators. As these models get more specialized, companies need people who can prepare data and oversee training processes. It's not the most glamorous role, but it's absolutely critical and increasingly well paid. And this is fascinating. AI ethics and policy experts are becoming essential hires. With all the concern about AI safety and regulation, companies need people who understand both the technology and its implications. If you have any background in law, philosophy, or policy combined with AI knowledge, you're sitting on a gold mine. The platform will track all these skills and more, from basic AI literacy all the way up to advanced model development. But here's the key. It's not about having a degree in these areas. It's about proving you can actually do the work. That's the revolution here. Why American professionals should be paying attention. Now, this next part is specifically for my U.S. viewers, and it's huge. OpenAI has explicitly stated they want to train and certify 10 million Americans by 2030. That's not a typo, 10 million. They're not just building a global platform. They're specifically investing in the American workforce. Look at who's already signed on as partners. Walmart, yes, that Walmart is on board 
and planning to use this for massive hiring initiatives. John Deere, the farming equipment company, is involved because even agriculture is going AI, Accenture, BCG, Indeed. These aren't startups experimenting. These are established companies planning their future workforce strategy around this platform. But here's what really caught my attention. They're partnering with state governments. Delaware and Texas are already running pilot programs. Think about what this means. Your state's workforce development programs might soon include AI certification through ChatGPT. This isn't some Silicon Valley exclusive thing. It's coming to mainstream America. And the accessibility factor is game changing. By embedding certifications in ChatGPT's study mode, which has free tiers, anyone with internet access can start building AI skills. You don't need expensive boot camps or university courses. This could be the great equalizer for people in rural areas or those who can't afford traditional education. The timing here is critical too. The White House has made AI literacy a national priority. And OpenAI's initiative is directly aligned with federal goals to maintain U.S. leadership in AI. This isn't just about individual careers, it's about national competitiveness. The government wants American workers trained in AI. And this platform is positioned as a key part of that strategy. For professionals watching this, the message is clear. AI fluency is about to become as important as computer literacy was in the 1990s. And unlike the slow rollout of computer training back then, this is happening at warp speed. The platform launches in 2026, but the certification programs are starting now. If you wait until 2026 to start learning, you'll be competing with millions who've already been certified. What this means for your career, right now. So here's the bottom line, and this is what I want you to really think about after watching this video. Sam Altman isn't just building another job site. He's creating an entirely new pathway into tech careers that doesn't depend on traditional credentials. As he said himself, this isn't just about advancing AI technology. It's about preparing people for an AI-driven economy. The platform might not launch until 2026, but the race starts now. Those ChatGPT skills you've been building, they're about to become formal qualifications. That automation you created to save time at work, that's going to be resume gold. The AI knowledge you've been accumulating through YouTube videos and experimentation, it's about to have a formal certification pathway. What's really interesting is that OpenAI has ChatGPT's 700 million user base to tap into. LinkedIn took years to build its network. OpenAI already has the users. They just need to connect them with employers. And with their AI matching technology, they might actually solve the skill matching problem that every other job platform struggles with. For companies, this represents a massive shift too. Instead of fighting over the same small pool of AI engineers from top universities, they'll have access to a much broader talent pool of certified professionals. It's going to change how companies think about hiring for AI roles. The next steps you should take. Before you click away, let me leave you with this. The convergence of AI advancement and workforce transformation isn't coming. It's here. Altman's platform is just the infrastructure catching up to the reality that AI skills are now fundamental career assets. Whether you're a recent graduate, a mid-career professional, or someone looking to completely change fields, this platform represents a door that's about to open. The question isn't whether AI will transform the job market, it's whether you'll be ready when it does. Those 10 million certification spots OpenAI is planning, they're going to fill up fast. The companies already signed on as partners, they're going to be hiring through this platform whether you're on it or not. So here's my challenge to you. Don't wait for 2026. Start building your AI skills now. Get comfortable with ChatGPT if you aren't already. Learn prompt engineering. Understand how AI tools can solve real business problems. Because when this platform launches, you want to be among the first wave of certified professionals, not playing catch up. The future of work is being rewritten right now, and Sam Altman just handed us the rough draft. The only question left is, what role are you going to play in this story? 
Thanks for watching. If you want to stay ahead of the AI career curve, make sure you're subscribed because I'll be covering every development in this space as it happens. Drop a comment below. What AI skill are you most interested in developing? And if you found this valuable, share it with someone who needs to hear about this opportunity. The AI revolution isn't waiting, and neither should you.